So I'm going to show you how to create your first event in Simple Photo Share. Uh, once you've signed up, you're going to go to the dashboard at admin.simplephotoshare.com. Um, the first time you log in, there's a little bit of a one, two, three is what you do. Basically, just click on the create your event box. Um, we'll do a, a test event, uh, give it whatever you want it to be for the name. You, If you'd like to um, change the URL that it will go to, you can uh, edit the, the sort of the end of the URL. We'll go ahead and create our event. Um, so then what will happen is you'll be taken immediately to the settings page where you can edit the settings for your event. Uh, the thumbnail is just the image that's going to show up in your gallery. It doesn't actually appear to any front facing stuff. Um, so unless you have a lot of events, you don't necessarily need to add a thumbnail. Then, uh, uh, the header is something that will let you have an area at the top of your gallery that is fixed. Um, so it's a nice place to add permanent branding. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I will go and add a logo. Um, so I'll add our little logo hit to the header area. Um, I'm going to leave it white if I want to. I can change to any hex color I'd like. Um, then I'm going to do the same on the background. I'll leave it white just to keep it clean. But if I wanted to change the color, I could. Um, and I'll add a gallery overlay as well. Um, for that one, I'm going to just do our vertical <clears throat> logo. And I'll add some padding here. Um, I'm not sure. I'll go back and look and make sure the padding's right. But what that does is it sort of will fit the uh, the overlay image in the space on the screen. Um, I did skip over search. What search does is it will, if you have uh, metadata in your images, it will add a little search field in the top right so you can search your gallery. Um, once I'm done, I'm just going to hit save. Image overlay um, is adds a watermark. So you can either add a logo um, in a corner um, by selecting the corner you'd like it in and setting the um, the size of the overlay, or you can actually add, a, if you wanted to add a full screen overlay frame, uh, you can do that just by adding it to any corner and setting the overlay size to 100%. What that will do is it will add the frame and it will always draw the frame as wide as the images. So um, that would allow you to do a traditional frame if you wanted to design the whole overlay. Otherwise, you can just put any size logo and then uh, set the size using these. Uh, sliders. So I'm going to turn that off so, so for the demo. So basically, I've now set up my event. I can click this to go to the URL, and you'll see I have my header um, with my logo in the top and the other logo in the gallery. Um, this The gallery logo is going to appear behind all the images that show up here, um, whereas the header will always remain on top. If I went ahead and uh, enabled search here, uh, what I would see is that the when I refresh, the search is going to uh, appear in the top right. But, uh, for, for this, I'm going to turn off search since we don't necessarily need it. Um, and we're pretty much ready to go. I am in test mode. Um, so test mode, you can do everything you need to do. Uh, the only difference is that while you're in test mode, um, the images are watermarked. And then as soon as you're ready to, to go live, you just set it live and it will spend uh, a credit, which is sort of the unit in Simple Photo Share, and for 24 hours, the gallery will be live. If you have a multiple day event, you can, um, when you're setting it live, you can either spend multiple credits so that it will ex it will automatically be a multi -day, multi day event, or if you'd like, you can add credits as you need um, and add time once an event is completed. Uh, so also just look at the email settings. Email is always on by default. It's, it tends to be the most common um way people like to get their images uh here i can set my sender name um i'm gonna say simple photo share uh photos of simple photo share is the sender email you if you would like to you can make this something custom you can make it your client's address um and then you can also edit the subject line um okay uh, i'm gonna use the default message for now, but I can go in here and use rich HTML if I wanted to add images, buttons, any sort of graphics I wanted, I could go ahead and put that in here. Um, we also have the feature of quick email domains. I'll show you that. That's really nice if I am working um, for a company, I will put in their, their company um, email. For example, if we're working for someone who works at Facebook, I would add at facebook.com. Um, and then I usually will leave gmail.com as one of them because that tends to be the most common um, 
email domain for people's personal email. We also have release text, so you can have people explicitly agree. Um, and I'm gonna turn this on, I'll show you what that says, but I'll also edit this. Um, and what's really handy is that once you've set up your email, including if you, if you design a really nice HTML email and you don't wanna set all of these settings up every time, I can go ahead and say, save these current settings as default, click save. And what I have now is every time I create a new event from here on out, it will start with these settings. Um, so what you saw was what we automatically just default to. Uh, but from now on, every single time I create a new event, it will start from this. So the work you've put into uh, making a nice HTML email or writing a thorough release uh, won't be lost. You won't have to copy paste later on. It's going to be there uh, forever. So until you check this box again and save it again. So um, when you do that, it will overwrite and create a new default, obviously. SMS settings, if you want to include text messaging, um, we'll turn this on. Here's your pick. You can set the message if you like. You can also have release text on the text, uh, text messaging. And again, you can save the current settings as your default. Um, the images tab we can come back to. This is where you're going to see the images from your gallery if you want to delete them. Um, but for now, we're done. So we have we have our gallery, all our our, um, our event already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over. I have a, a capture one gallery of a shoot I did, <clears throat> and what I'm going to do since in this case I've already done the shoot, um, I have all the files set up. What I'm going to do is I will. Um, go to my Simple Photo Share app, um, and I see my app. My event now is is uh, available in the events list. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this event since it was my first one. It's the only one in the list. But uh, as I add more, there are filters, so you can only see the ones that are currently live or in test mode. Um, and really, the only thing I have to do is set my watch folder. So I'm going to click on the watch folder. I'm going to go into this headshot um, event and. Out, the output folder is where I've processed my images. I already have JPEG images in there. If I could, if I add new ones, then they will um, be they'll be continually added to my event. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this folder. Um, Simple Photo Share is going to see that I have images in there, so we should start to see it populate. So here come the names. Um, now it's populating with all the images that are in that folder, and the status is going to show me as those things are uploading. Um, and so what, what we'll see over the next few minutes is that these images are going to, like the clouds will turn into check marks to show me that they've, um, they've completed. So what I can do is go back to my gallery now, my sharing gallery. I can do that by clicking on the share link in the app. Uh, there's also the share link in the web dashboard, um, but I'll just click it here and what I'm seeing now is automatically my images are starting to load in here. So it's going to continually refresh as it processes and runs through all the, those images that were in my folder. But like I mentioned, this is in test mode. Um, so I'm seeing the, uh, uh, the watermark on the images. Now, the reason we do that is so that you can test it, make sure everything's working. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to add my, my name, and then I'm going to use my, this quick, uh, quick email link that I set up earlier so that I don't have to type the whole thing. And I'll go ahead and click send. And what, what I should see is that'll go straight to my email. Um, and those should be sent immediately. <clears throat> now, they are watermarked. So when I'm ready, when I'm happy with the way the emails are working, when I'm happy and have tested that the gallery is ready and my event is ready to start, I'm going to go ahead and go back into my dashboard. And I'm going to set the event live. So in this case, we'll say it's a one day event. So I'm just going to start my event, and what you'll see now is that images that the the newer images that come in should not be watermarked um, since they'll be processed after I go live. Um, so some of these are still kind of churning through, but um, once I have set an event live, then the images will process without a watermark. Um, if you did have images that processed with a watermark, you would need to re uh, submit them or reprocess them so that they get back in that queue and are processed again. Um, but that's that's kind of a normally in most cases we would take a few test shots while it's in test mode and then we'll go ahead into the images tab and from here we can select the images and delete them and then reprocess. So uh, that's pretty much it.
send us an email, give us a call if you ever have a question. Uh, we're happy to help and yeah, appreciate it. Thanks.